up, up, What's my line? What's up, coffee drinkers? We are the Coffee Nerds. Uh, thanks for joining us for another episode of Coffee Nerds, the Coffee Break Podcast. I'm Chad. I'm Luke. We are out of sequence. We are uh, starting a new series today. We're going to be trying coffees from around the world. Today we've got a Vietnamese coffee for you. Uh, what's coffee it called? Coffee trung. That. Those words. Uh, yeah. And we're going to jump right into the tasting because it's getting cold. Yes. Mm. That is that amazing. That is really good. <laughs> yeah. It's super sweet. You get a lot of foam at the top. Yeah. So it's kind of like a nice sweet burst mm -hmm. of smooth awesomeness. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. That's really it's magical. Good. I'm going to have to make egg coffee every morning. Oh, I'm getting a little of the egg flavor, too. Like It just has like just a hint of egginess. It's not overpowering. It's sweet. And eggy and coffee, <laughs> coffee and delicious and delicious. Um, there is a specific Vietnamese coffee uh, that they do recommend. Um, yeah, we didn't have was, that. Yeah, we didn't have it. Legal Nomads, I believe, is where I got this recipe. Um, and oh, what was I going to say? Uh. There, yeah, so Cafe Trung, it's high in Robusta, is it Robusta beans? Yeah, that Robusta they, beans. they recommended? Which are Asian origin. We are using Mocha Java, which is, as we talked about last week, it's two um, ports of origin, Mocha and Java. Um, so, a little east and west. And it's got a, a decent amount of Robusta right. in it. It definitely works. Yeah, it definitely works. We kind of brewed it a little bit stronger, too, which mm -hmm. they recommended. Yeah. Um, so it's a nice, it's very sweet at the beginning, and mm -hmm. then at the end, it's just kind of your, you know, strong, deep coffee taste. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, I like it a lot. Just crossing our fingers we don't get sick from... From not right not temperature egg. egg enough, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you get the coffee as hot as you can before you mix everything together. Or if you can, like, yeah. They need to put this at, like, yeah, be safe for sure. Uh, at coffee shops. Coffee shops need yeah. to start serving this. <laughs> it, was easy. it wasn't that hard. I mean, no, it's not hard. The leg yolk, little milk, French pressed coffee. Yes, so our first coffee from around the world, I, I give this two thumbs up. Yes, can, uh, uh, yeah, two. two. There we go. Two thumbs up. That is delicious. Yeah, I love it. Going to have to make more. We're out of eggs now. I was going to say yeah. we should make some more later, but. Next week. Yeah, next week. <laughs> make another egg coffee. We'll just do, this is just going to be the egg coffee nerds. We're just going to make egg coffee all the time. <laughs> Trivia time. So if you don't want to make your uh, egg coffee with the Vietnamese stuff, um, but you want to try and be as authentic as you can, another alternative is the Café du Monde's coffee with chicory. Chicory is a root often used in the uh, New Orleans area. It, uh, it's a coffee totally substitute. Totally lost my train of thought. Yes, <laughs> caffeine-free coffee substitute. Similar flavor, but no caffeine. Very cool. So, <clears throat> just a little bit more of a um, coffee Sorry. fact, I guess. But uh, mm. when the Vietnamese people were coming to the U.S. in the mid-70s, uh, many of them s actually settled in New Orleans where this chicory coffee kind of originates or comes, right. comes from. Um, so, their coffee back home was intense and bitter, and the chicory in Cafe du Monde really matches that flavor. So the people who started working in New Orleans uh, got a taste for that coffee and started telling others in the community um, how much it tasted like home. <laughs> so, so that's why they kind of recommended uh, on this website this uh, chicory coffee. Um, so if you can't find the Vietnamese coffee or 
um, don't want to use the Vietnamese coffee, then this is a great alternative. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for joining us on... Oh, sorry. It's all good. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, thanks for joining us on another episode of Coffee Nerds. Uh, thanks for joining us in Vietnam. Next <laughs> week we'll be traveling to another part of the world through coffee. So join us and let us know after this... Ah, gosh dang it. Uh, and let us know what coffees you'd like us to try in the future. Yes. Yes, definitely leave us a comment and... Uh, let us know how it goes if you try egg coffee. Yeah, if you try egg coffee, let us know how it goes. And just leave, a, leave us a comment. Let us know if you have any particular coffee that you'd like us to try, especially if it's from around the world right now. Yeah. Since for the next four or five weeks, we'll probably be doing um, coffees from around the world, different locations and stuff. Yeah, and, um, and, and styles. Brewing, and styles, Brewing yeah. styles and coffees. Yep. So, um, if you've tried something unique, I don't know that we'll try something too gross. Egg coffees probably are top probably gross. One of, one of the weirdest ones. Yeah, one of the weirdest. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll find something else weird, I'm sure. Yeah. So, so just let us know. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Hey there, coffee drinkers. It's your pal, Coffee the Cup. Thanks for checking out this week's episode of Coffee Nerds. Check back next Wednesday, and every Wednesday, for another brand new episode. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks. Bye. I love you.